Hey friends, it's Lyndon here from the AOP Plus Print On Demand Academy. And today I have an awesome tutorial for you. We're gonna run through exactly how you can start your very own print on demand store using Etsy. So let's jump into it. So guys, whether or not you've got a standard account already uh, that you use on Etsy to buy products, what I'll get you to do is just check the link below in the description. That's actually our affiliate link, which will give you a whole heap of free listings and will also give us some free listings as well. So it's a win-win. Uh, if not, you can go straight through to Etsy.com and sign up there. And then what we need to do is when, when once we click that link, you'll find a screen similar to this. It does change sometimes okay but essentially we need to get started basically it's going to go through a whole heap of questions which I'll zoom through quickly for you it's pretty self-explanatory so we're going to choose the shop language the shop country okay this is um, where the shop is based but it doesn't matter where you are going to sell okay so you can choose whatever country you're in shop currency um, I usually choose United States dollars so uh, because that's where I sell in the US but this is totally up to you okay and don't worry about this error um, you're always going to get paid out to your own local bank in the local currency okay selling is my full-time job save and continue so you want to name your shop this is going to be the name of your shop you can't actually um, well it's not advisable to change this later once you've integrated things so think of something uh, clever um, or you know that something relevant to the store that you are um, creating to the products that you're going to be selling so I'll just say Linden studio that was a suggestion great so what you do have to do is you do need to create a listing. Basically what I would suggest is just go through and add some dummy product uh, images, whatever images, because um, we're going to be integrating from the AOP Plus app to Etsy. Um, enter a title, go through anything that is required with uh, a little asterisk there, you just put in some dummy information, okay? Um, it will charge you 20 cents for this listing, obviously, but if you've used that link, you will be getting some free listings. So this is something that's not avoidable. So go through, fill out all the information, just whatever information, it doesn't matter, and click save and continue. So now you've put your first listing up. I did really great shirt here, even though it's a hoodie, $50. So again, this is just a test. So what you're going to do next, you'll see along the top here is, uh, firstly, you can either add more listings or if you click do this later, it's going to go to the next step, which is all about how you're going to get paid. Now make sure you check your email as well. You do need to verify that at some stage. It doesn't matter if you don't do it right now, but in your inbox, there'll be an email sitting there for you from Etsy. So this information here is all personal information about yourself, uh, whether you're an individual or whether you're a business. So I'll quickly fill this out and we'll skip forward to the next step. So after you've entered either your personal or your business information and your bank account details, you might get an error that says we could not verify your, uh, your identity. So what I recommend you do then is you go find the email that's in your inbox and confirm your email and you'll be brought to this screen. Okay, so this is where uh, Etsy wants to verify your actual identification. So you'll need to uh, upload something like a driver's license or your passport or some other form of identification. Then on the next step, you'll simply set up your billing. So that's where Etsy will charge you the fees. So it's 20 cents, that's US dollars, 20 cents for every three months for a listing at the time of making this video. So it's quite affordable. But if you did use that link we provided you, you will get 40 free listings. So then uh, you just need to finalize your shop security. So. I'll leave you guys to do all of that. We're gonna skip forward now to integrating the AOP Plus app with Etsy. All right, so what you need to do is click the link in the description or just go to alloverprint.net forward slash Etsy forward slash install and you're going to see this screen here. So making sure that you're still logged into Etsy we're gonna click connect or log into Etsy. If you're not logged in, it'll just ask you to log in. Okay, you're gonna get this message here saying, 
AOP Plus Easy Print On Demand drop shipping wants to connect to your account. So that's all good, it's all legit. So we wanna click Allow Access. And there we have it, you have connected your AOP Plus app with your Etsy store. So now what we're gonna do is add our first product. So inside your AOP Plus dashboard, click on Products, and we want to add a product. Now I'm going to create a new collection. I have an amazing design called the Galacti Cat. Type in your collection title, and we're gonna add the design. And there he is. Click on Next. So I'm just gonna start this one off with a classic adult t-shirt. Now once we're inside the product, you'll see you can adjust the design, the size with the toggle here, and you can adjust what color t-shirts you want to offer. For this one, I'm just gonna keep it simple and offer just a black t-shirt. Scroll down, update your pricing, we can change this later inside the Etsy dashboard, so don't be too concerned. Take note here as well of the shipping locations and also the shipping times. Once you're ready, you can save your product and you can see there it is, my amazing Galacticat t-shirt. I'm gonna hit publish and that is going to send it through to my Etsy store. So let's jump back into Etsy and I'll show you a few tips and tricks of what you can do in there. So if you've jumped back over to your Etsy store and you click on listings on the left, you go over here, you'll see automatically whenever you publish a listing from AOP Plus, it will send it through to your Etsy store, but it will be in draft, which is great because we still wanna do a few more edits. So if we go into the product here and click edit. You can see we've got one image there, which is fantastic. If you do want to add more images, you can check out placeit.net to get some more mockups. But what you really want to do is you want to go in here and start optimizing your listing. Before we do that, we're just going to edit this listing a little bit. So Etsy knows that we're using a production partner. So we're going to change this here to it's being made by another person, another company or person. It is a finished product and it is made to order. And we're going to scroll down here. You'll be able to see uh, it will show in red. You must add a partner for this listing. So we're going to add a new production partner. We're just going to put in here AOP Plus Easy Print On Demand. We're going to enter London, United Kingdom. A little bit of information there while you're working with this partner. So the best thing to do here is to say, I don't have the technical ability or equipment. What is your role? I design everything myself. So here you want to say, they make a component of my product and I do the rest. Okay, and save partner. So all you do there is select it. You won't need to do that again because now AOP Plus is added as a production partner. So now what you want to do is you want to go through and add in the relevant details. Now, it's a good idea to add some search keywords into your title. So in this case, that might be Galacticat Funny Cat Lovers Lovers T-shirt. And as you scroll down, you'll see it's already got noted here that it is a t-shirt. And in here, it's a good idea as well to personalize and customize this description. To get some more tips, take a look at competing stores that are selling similar products in a, in a similar niche and see what they're using for their descriptions. Another really important thing with Etsy is to add tags. So this might be cat lovers, Funny cat t-shirt, gift for cat lovers. So these are going to be relevant keywords that people are searching for on Etsy. Now you do have 13 that you can add. It's wise to add all of them. 
Now once you've done adding all of your tags, scroll down to the pricing section and you'll see the variations. Now it does cost slightly extra for the larger sizes above the 2XL at the time of recording this video. So make sure that when you set your prices, these are your retail prices, you want to include enough for the product, enough for shipping and enough for profit margin. Now, there's a bit of a strategy here with Etsy where they do tend to favor or give preference to stores that have free shipping or free shipping incentives. So for the sake of this example, and it all depends on where you are shipping to, I'm just gonna make these ones 22 pounds. You might wanna make these ones 24 pounds because they are bigger sizes. Once you finish your pricing, come down and we've got delivery. Now, you may want to enter a custom delivery option, country of origin, put in your postcode, processing time. So again, going back to the AOP Plus dashboard, you'll see the, the different times uh, involved in shipping and processing to different countries. So make sure you take note of them and you put all that information into here. And I'm going to just offer free delivery. Now, again, it's important that if you're offering free delivery, make sure you've added enough profit margin and the delivery costs to your retail price. So now that you've finished your listing and you've hit publish, you can go and marvel at your amazing new product. I really love this Galactic Cat. I think it might be a top seller. So now that we've come to the end of this tutorial, make sure you watch it a few times to really get the hang of the process. It will get quicker and quicker. Now I've put a couple of links down below in the description that will help you. One little piece of software which isn't free but it's called erank.com. I've used that for my Etsy businesses to help me research competitors and research keywords uh, and also tags and whatnot to use in your listings. Now, we're not affiliated with them uh, at all, but I do love using that tool, so you might wanna check it out yourself, or there are a few alternatives out there too. So guys, that brings us to the end of another AOP Plus Easy Print On Demand tutorial. I hope you got something out of this. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment below if you've got any questions or even just to say, hey, Lyndon, you're so good looking. Why are you doing these tutorials on YouTube or whatever you feel like saying below? I'll do my best to reply. So until next time, take a look at these other videos that you'll see pop up around me and happy print on demand selling. Take it easy.